G'day guys, oil catch cans. Do they work? Well, I'm down here at Diesel Tune Australia in Dandenong. I'm gonna get hold of Matt and he's gonna explain everything we need to know about a catch can. We're gonna pop the bonnet of my patrols. We'll check out the one I've got under here. We're even gonna drain the oil out of this one so you can see what goes on with this. So I'll go and get hold of Matt and we'll have a chat about oil catch cans. Right, guys, so I've got Matt here from Diesel Tune Australia. He's gonna explain everything we need to know about oil catch cans. Now mate, I've got one on, on my motor here on my patrol. Yep. So what's over before we get started on this one? I've got a bottle inside my car there. Let's say we drain the oil out of this one. Yep. And then you can explain where the oil would go if I didn't have a catch me. Definitely. Right, I'll get that bottle out. Right. Right, mate, so I've drained the oil out of my catch can. Yep. There's a fair bit in there. Now, I try and drain this about once a month. Yep. So first of every month, I sort of try and get, get it drained up as close to. So if I didn't have that catch can in there, where would all this gunk then be going? Okay, so essentially what's happening is that this oil catch can is filtering the engine oil out of the engine breather air. Right. Normally, that would be just going straight back into the front of the turbocharger. Gets pushed up through from the turbocharger through the intercooler, and then across the top, and then back into the inlet manifold. Right. Um, in a patrol, the distance is not that far, but you give me a Ranger or a Colorado or something with a front-mounted intercooler, this is, the distance that's got to travel is, it could be three or four meters. So that oil is going to slow down and build up inside the inlet manifold, and inside the intercooler, it becomes a thermal barrier. Um, you don't want that in there. You, you certainly don't want it reaching your inlet manifold and caking up with EGR and, and just basically blocking up that inlet manifold. Yeah. It just make, makes the engine allowed to breathe and work a bit, a bit cleaner and easier, yeah? Just maintaining the cleanliness of the engine. Yeah. So this is just, it's, uh, it's you know, you can't just bolt it on and expect it to fix something that's already clogged up. It yeah. ain't gonna happen, mate. Yeah. But if you can get it on bright and early or or after like what we did with your car, we cleaned that inlet manifold out uh, when, the, when the cylinder head was done, uh, you can now maintain the cleanliness of that. Yeah. Uh, and that's what's really, really good. Yeah. So these couple of hoses we've got here, there's one coming in here and another one going out yep. the bottom there. So where's the cycle? How does the cycle sort of all work? Even from factory, uh, the rocket cover breather will come from, so a hose will come out of the rocket cover and then into the front of the turbocharger. Right. So all internal combustion engines have leakage past the rings. Yeah. Now that pressure's got to go somewhere. They decided to put that back into the engine and make the engine burn it up. Right. Um, and that's all good and well when the distance is only very, very short, like an old red motor, yeah? The distance had to go that far for, and it was burnt and yeah, gone. Yeah. With these common rails and some with an intercooler on it, the distance is so far that it, it just slows down, comes out of suspension and builds up in places where you don't want yeah. it to be. This gunk's now coming out of the engine, getting caught in here before yep. it goes back in and turbo and intercooler and clogging all that up Correct. inside the engine. Yep. And then where's the recess of going? So is anything going back through that bottom hose? Yeah, we're just, all we're doing is, is intercepting the hose. Okay, so it used to go from the rocket cover to the turbo. Now it goes the rocket cover, catch can, turbo. Right. So that oil catch can then filters the oil out, which is what all we wanted to do. It doesn't make a restriction. Um, it doesn't stop that the engine from breathing, which is very, very vital. Uh, some of the catch cans out there, you know, use a little tiny 838 hose. No, they need to be like three quarter inch hose, yeah. enough for that engine to breathe. So yeah. you've got to be really careful what you buy. Yeah. Um, and a good quality catch can will have an overpressurized valve in it. So if for some reason this, this does get kinked off or falls off or whatever, the pressure can still get out. If it doesn't get out, the crankcase pressure will build up and push gaskets and seals out and you've got oil leaks. Yeah, yeah. Or engine oil burning getting jammed into the turbo. So yeah. be really careful what you buy. The DTA, they've got their, their own oil catch can design, haven't they? We use the Process West one. What's say we go and grab that home, bring, bring it out and have a yeah, look at that? Yeah, yep. it's a good thing. Right, right, Matt, so this is the um, oil catch can that you guys use. Yeah. What have we got here? So this is uh, what they call a separator, which is their brand. It's a Process West part made in Sydney. Uh, all billet construction. Really nice bit of kit. Uh, comes in uh, different direct fit kits for lots of different cars. Probably 20, over 20 models we've got direct fit kits for, which is really nice. Yep. Molded hoses, good thing, fits nice. Um, they've got this uh, a metal filter now, so they've, you know, the filters last forever. You just have to wash them out and soak. Yep. Um, they're really, really nice. It's drains out the bottom there. Yeah, you've got the drain there. There's a pressure relief valve there. 
Um, in terms of servicing it, we recommend just doing it every 10,000 Ks. Hey, you might test it after 3,000 Ks. It's got a bit of oil in there. Let's, um, I'll keep an eye out more often. Yeah. Yeah. Or you might say it's just got a little bit on it and it'll make it each service. Yeah. So you, you don't have to go crazy. Uh, but as I said, there's a drain plug there or the lid comes off. Filter comes out. That can easily be serviced. And uh, yeah, nice and easy, simple. Nice bit, bit. Well, after we've seen how much oil come out of mine, we can certainly see that oil catch cans are certainly serve a pretty important purpose with keeping your engine nice and clean and yeah. keeping it going. They're definitely a worthy addition to any yeah. car, especially if you've had the inlet manifold clean like yours or it's fairly new, just to maintain the car and, and, and keep that clean. Yeah. Right, mate, so if uh, people want to find out more about catch cans, where yeah. can they go? So they can contact us on 03 9793 1616 uh, in at Horseback Factory, or uh, they can get on the Diesel Chin Australia website, which is www.dieseltunaustralia.com. Okay. Well, there you go, guys. That's all the information about how a catch can works and how beneficial they are. So have a chat with the guys down here at Diesel Chin Australia, and fair chance, I'll see you out in the bush someday. Thanks, mate. Great, mate. Top stuff.